biggest bonehead move in the history of bonehead moves. Oh, what a handsome man. Are you happy, Ronnie? I'm very happy. Look, I'm already smiling. Yeah. Well, this doesn't suck. Are you happy? So very crowded at the Willie T today, like really crowded. Rambling Redneck, baby. Rambling Redneck? Yes, what do you think about that? that? All right, here's the redo of Ron and Whitney together. The good news is everyone's too drunk over there to notice what's happening over here. You're going to be on the Wandering Hillbilly. Oh, Hello gang, it is Tuesday. I was supposed to be arrived in the British Virgin Islands yesterday, but we missed our flight. When I say we, I mean this old man missed his flight yesterday. So I made it all the way to Miami. I'm in Miami now, and uh, in about an hour, getting on a plane and going straight to St. Thomas. Got a water taxi picking me up, and then uh, adventures will begin. Here we go. My wonderful taxi driver. Beautiful job, thank you. So straight from the taxi. My water taxi. Bill Billy, you're home. It really does feel like I'm coming like to my vacation home. Like beautiful. Oh yeah. Home, baby, home. I <laughs> just. Ugh. This is called happiness, right here. Okay, so I've been on board literally like 10 minutes and I look over and I see a guy wearing one of my shirts and this is Chris. Hello. But that's not the weird part. The weird part is Chris grew up in the same hometown as I did, Alma, Texas. Look, this is population like 600 with dogs and cats, right? Not very, not very many people, <laughs> not at all, right off 308, yeah. And now Chris and his wife live on St. John, yeah. and they were over here today and he came by to say hi. Yeah. I love this kind of stuff, yeah. man. Thank yeah. you for coming by. Yeah. Okay, that's bizarre. The kid grew up in the same town. I mean, literally like 500 people in the entire town. There's a Dairy Queen. I think that's closed down. But look at this. Remember me about making beds? Yeah, well, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, whew. Man, <laughs> it's hot out there. That's a tough workout. In your 60s, work the heck out. I don't care if you're on a boat or not. Woke up this morning and my sound bar wouldn't work. Here. Took the TV off the wall and found that my HDMI connector is broken to the back of this. So I gotta get back here, run it through the wall, get a new one. Just another sort of thing you gotta do when you own a boat. Okay, just as I thought I was gonna go eat, the biggest bonehead move in the history of bonehead moves. I went through customs yesterday. The guy handed me my passport. I put it in my back pocket, safekeeping, until I got here. Then I was going to still put it away. I didn't put it away. I threw the pants in the washer and dryer. Here it is. Good Lord. Look at that. And there, was a, there was a card in here which melted right over the top of everything. I might permanently be a citizen of the BVI now. <laughs> Gotta jump on this. Crap! Uh, another funny thing that's happened is, uh, since we're now living in kind of three different places, LA, Omaha, and here, I've tried to figure out how to put the right clothes where so I'm not packing and moving a lot of stuff, so I thought I had it all figured out. I went to from Omaha to Nashville to do my gig there. I opened up my bag, no underwear, zip, none, nada. Have no fear, I did not do a network show in commando. I'm out there, Jerry, and I'm loving it. No, I didn't. I went to Target. I took care of it, but it's, it's confusing. <laughs> These are first world problems. Five boxes here, so 
to start emptying it out. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. There it all is. For one week, I think we ordered a little much. We always do, but the good news is I got more people coming on next week, so we'll roll it over. It'll be fine. Okay, you're getting there, but I mean, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Pringles. That would be Whitney. Okay, because this thing is so fantastic, everything's put away. They gave me the wrong coffee. I don't think that will go in there. Anyway, everything's put away, including all the damn Pringles. It's amazing to have this massive full-size refrigerator. Look at all the stuff I got in there. Lots of beer. And then because there's more, more storage everywhere, all the water and everything I'm gonna put down there. I'm at the taxi oh, stand and Ronnie has made it. Oh, what a handsome man. <laughs> Are you happy, Ronnie? I'm very happy. Look, I'm already smiling. I know. Now my smile. I know. <laughs> home, home, home. So beautiful. I know. Well, hi. Hey, Kevin now. How you doing, guys? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Welcome aboard, guys. Yes. Thanks for awesome. having us. You're welcome. You. To friends, health, safety, and a yes. shit pile of fun. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Woo. Okay, everybody pretty much knows my obsession with Omar's Fusion, the uh, Indian food restaurant. There, there was one here at Nanny Key, but it's smaller, and Omar wanted us to come, and, but he wanted us to come to the one at West End, so we got to take a cab over to Soper's Hole. There it is. Omar's, baby. Oh, it's lovely indoor outdoor seating. Your boat can pull up right here. Cheers. Dinner, Cheers. dinner and night number one. Night one. Oh, did I just spill it? So I'm at dinner, and Omar shows up. Say hi, Omar. <laughs> and who do we have here? Hi. Come on, say your name. Say Natalie. It. Natalie, there you yeah. go. Natalie and I have talked on the phone and FaceTime once or twice, so we're good. We're old friends. Oh, here comes the food. Oh, there it is. Oh, look, and there's my wife. Hi, honey. Chicken tikka. of this trip with these fine folks. Always a great way to wake up, have everything you need. And a cup of joe. We're gonna do the loop clockwise, I think. And this is all gonna be circling around um, going to the Marina Key event. Start off by going over to Norman. We may stop at the Indians and do a little snorkeling. I haven't snorkeled there in a while. I kinda of like to. Depends on what time everybody gets up and what have you. And then, um, We'll go to Norman and, uh, you know, jump off the tee as we always do. Well, 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 day one. Day one. A little deja vu with Whitney and Ron. <laughs> Say good morning, Brittany. Good morning. Where's, where's Hubby? He's been slow to wake up. Slow. JP, slow. Yes. Ronnie? Yes. This doesn't suck. This does not suck. <laughs> oh, look, JP's up. Yeah. JP, what does a JP stand for? John Paul. <laughs> Brittany, what does the JP stand for? Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Did everybody hear that? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it throughout the week. The family that folds the lines together stays together. <laughs> there you go. You're getting a lesson. I already know all of this stuff. Because I'm a professional. Springs up. Oh, thank you. Springs away. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a great week, you guys. Have a blast. Bring up the buoys. No, the fenders. Get the fender, cute. <laughs> Bumpers. No. Fenders. <laughs> okay, that was a good shove off. Nice and uneventful. Ah, oh, it 
it's so exciting to be here again. I'm captaining my own boat in the BVI. It's always been charters. This is the first time it's mine. It'll take us about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes to get there. I'm gonna go slow because I'm enjoying being on my boat with Ronnie. We're making our first morning. Oh, it's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. <laughs> a little rocky this morning. Oh wow, look at this. The champion here. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Remember when I said it was going to be a little bumpy today? Yeah. I think you got it from both angles then. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Well, this doesn't suck. Are you happy? second try with the morning ball. Third time was the charm. I just wanted JP to get the full experience of learning. JP did an amazing job. <laughs> I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> Lady Britt did a wonderful job of just filming. I hope so. Ronnie did okay. Thank you, I'll be better. He's wearing a Mets hat now, okay. Interesting. Is that okay? Yeah, I guess. No. Well, you're, <laughs> in the, you're in the National League, it's fine. On you go. Hi, Jay. Goodbye. Hell Billy. Ah, uh, to the Willie T. Where are we going? We're going to the Willie T. Willie T. Willie T. And what are we not going to do this time? We're Ronnie? not going to hold hands and bump heads. Is that what happened? You guys were holding hands? We were all, well, we all. <laughs> Probably because you're a slender man. Yeah. We didn't reach the It's early, too. Thank you, sir. I'm kind of sore. I'm doing the fire. Okay. Great work, boys. It's a little crowded. It is a Friday afternoon, so there you have it. Is this our table? Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. So very crowded at the Willy T today. Like really crowded. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of uh, charter boats are here. Uh, so we were hungry because we really didn't have breakfast. So we we're ordering lunch first. Then we'll jump. I think. Ronnie, you gonna jump? I think so. He's gonna jump far away from me. He's gonna jump. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. So I hear you guys are wandering hillbilly. Yes. And Woo! So now you're on the channel. <laughs> We're the rambling rednecks, baby. The rambling rednecks. Yes. What do you think about I that? I love that. Yes. Well, where are the rednecks from? South Carolina. Oh well, hell yeah, you are. Okay, we have uh, met a lot of friends. We've eaten, and now the inevitable must happen. We're jumping. With JP and me, number one. One, two, three, go. the redo of Ron and Whitney together. Don't hold hands. <laughs> Hi Whit, I'm leaving, you're not. Good morning. 
balls. <laughs> Is there a choke? What did you do? <laughs> Get the words. The good news is everyone's too drunk over there to notice what's happening over here. <laughs> We're getting towed <laughs> by some fans. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Okay, joys of boating. Uh, when my friend JP here squeezes the pump down here from the fuel, and there's plenty, there's plenty of fuel, only air comes out of here. There's no gas coming out of here to the engine. We'll try to figure this out. Otherwise, we're gonna have dinner here on the boat. <laughs> or have to have somebody haul us in, because we're not getting fuel to the uh, motor. And basically, our fuel is around 40%, and so the hose that goes into the fuel tank, which should go to the bottom of the hose to suck up all the fuel, only goes halfway into the tank. So basically we ran out of gas, even though we had about 40% of fuel. So we just cut a line, cut it a little bit shorter, shoved it all the way down in there, and now it's fine. So at the end of this week, uh, I will have them install a new, whatever the heck it's called, hose to go all the way to the bottom of the tank. That's stupid. That's another manufacturer defect there. Welcome to boating. Well, Brett, JP, end of the first day, what do you think? It's a blast. So I'm fun. to move here with you. <laughs> okay. Yep. It's always good when you see like towels and shoes lying around on the boat. That means it's been a successful day. Very successful. Everybody's taking a shower. I need to take a shower. I feel like a salt mine. And then we're going to go to dinner over at the bite. So, great day. Look, Ronnie, look at this. Does it get much better? All right, so it's kind of late here, and so we're proud of a couple of things tonight. Number one, they didn't hit their heads. Yes, yeah, just clean heads. Yep. Yeah. Number two, these two jumped off the Willie T. They did. did. First timers. Yeah. The most important thing, though, is we closed the place down. We did. Nobody here.